I'm embarrassed a little bit about living here because the trailer and the yard and stuff, it's all messed up. And Mom likes the place. I like the place a little bit too, but I don't, I don't like want all my friends and stuff to know where I live at because they're like class up from us and stuff. This is my living room. And I, he does clean house when I'm at work. He tried to help out and everything. I appreciate that, okay? But things I don't like him to do is move things where I can't find them. I was on welfare 18 years. And now I work at Burger King. And now uh, it ain't my fault because I'm poor. I grew up poor. My dad worked hard. He worked 27 years on county engineer, trying to make a living for 22 kids. And uh, it ain't easy. You know, I was proud of my dad. He'd be proud of me now, <laughs> you know, for just trying. I walked to work 10 and a half miles because I don't have a car, don't have a license. Even when I'm walking to work or something, mm -hmm. someone will holler, hey, trashy bitch, what are you doing? I'm just walking to work. Good morning. Larry, anybody in here? My friends think I should stay at home, take care of my kids, you know, draw welfare. I said, no, thank me. I'm hoping to go to college and be a school teacher. That was my goal from the time I was five years old up until now. I look at it that I should have something better, a better house, you know. I don't want to look like I'm falling back. I want to look like I'm getting ahead, you know, trying to get somewhere. I may not have much money, but I keep a roof on my head, keep my bills paid. I don't ask for help. You know, I don't go around and say, hey, man, you got $5 I can get. I don't do that. Because I know how hard it is to have a little bit of money, you know. But I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm still working at Burger King. Only a 20 minutes walk from here. Everybody looking, well, she's still walking some, but not as much. There's time I just like to walk, just to get things on my head. I feel like I'm free when I'm walking, you know. feel like a bird that just been turned loose out of a cage. That's why I feel sometimes, you know. At the time, I just want to just... Sometimes I am embarrassed by mom because she wears that Burger King outfit every day. I mean... No, she, I don't. I, I, I have never seen her, like, go to a real nice restaurant and wear not that Burger King outfit. It's either the shirt or the pants, it's in, or it's both. She wears it constantly. But it's different outfits, but it's the same damn outfit. Sorry for using that word. Mac think he's in a different class. Really, he's in the same class I am. He's just trying to prove to his friends that he's in their class. But I know different. I'm going to go to college. Like for a lawyer, you have to go to four to six. Might go to the four year term to be a basic thing. In architectural design, it only takes two years in college, so I might go down here to Shawnee or uh, Hawking College, somewhere around in there and get a little school going on, because I know I ain't no Harvard material or anything like that. But. When you're young, you're immature. As you get older, you start realizing what you can do and what you can't do. I did not finish college or high school. 
I only had six months of high school left. I had my daughter and mom said that I had to figure out a way to take care of her, buy diapers and stuff. My only option was I could keep going to school and do what I was supposed to, or I can step up and be a real man and take care of my kid. I probably could have did both, but back then I wanted one or the other, and I wanted my family, so I did that. If I look back on it now, would I change it? Yes, but you can't change your past. All you can do is hope for a better future. This is my brother, Bo. He dresses like this compared to this. And I don't like how he dresses because that's why I don't hang out with him. I don't talk about him or anything. When people say he's my brother again, no, no, I don't know. And But when he dresses better and stuff, I'll walk around with him. And me and my friend over here, come here. Me me and Josh, the only way we walk around with him is if he starts looking good and we help him dress good and comb his hair and like make him look better. And Working now? No, I'm out of work right now. I'm, uh, I was self-employed doing roofs, sub subcontracting on roofs, but I've been laid off for over two years now going on two years so but I'll get back in there eventually why, why were you laid off Did work really hard to come by nowadays no uh actually to be honest with you I got into drugs real bad and I put the drugs before the work and I didn't show up for work I was doing the drugs and were you able to get to, to stop that little problem yes I stopped that problem how'd you do that with my mom's help and all the support around me. I mean, I got my family and I, I gotta think about them first. I mean, that's my number one priority. Hey, bring him here. You wanna pray with grandma? Let's pray with grandma. Yeah, it's grandma's boy. So what are they doing, grandma? You're getting on camera. Oh, ain't that so pretty? Give him a big smile. Give him a big, there we go. That grandma boy. I'm proud of me, because I'm going to achieve my goal before I drop dead or whatever, you know. That's what I want to do. Seven eighty-five an hour, and that's minimum wage. Yeah, but I had been making almost nine dollars, but they wouldn't give me the raise like they did a lot of them. They asked me, "Do you think that you're going to fulfill your dream?" I said, "You're getting up in age. You're getting brittle. You had a heart attack. So, do I believe she will?" I said, "No. I think that she's going to retire from Burger King. Honest to God, uh, but." Uh, I do believe that you do got hopes and dreams and you hang on to them as hard as you can and you do want that, but do I believe you're going to do it? No. Well, you're going to have a big surprise. Mom going to do it. I want to make a better life for me, you know, like, I want to be that teacher I want to be. And this job just like, tying me all up and I can't get there. I get so frustrated and, and sometimes I say, I hate my life. I don't know if anybody else felt like that before, the way I have felt. But I just want to be on top of the world sometime. Not down here. I want to be so high up.